Hi, in this video we are going to find or we are going to understand the relation between the cardinal numbers of the sets and their union and intersection, right? So as you can see, I have two sets, set A and set B. I have represented them using Venn diagrams. Set A has eight elements and the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And set B also has eight elements. They are 1, 3, 5, 6, 9, 11, 17 and 19. Right? So that is why the cardinal number of A that is n of A is equal to 8 and the cardinal number of B that is n of B is also equal to 8. For those this cardinal number is a new concept let me repeat once again cardinal number of a set is the number of distinct elements in a set and as we know any element can appear only once in a set right and the cardinal number it is represented as n of A n and then inside the bracket you write the name of the set and then you write the number of elements in that set. And now if I ask you what will be the cardinal number for A union B? Yes, this picture represents A union B and if we talk about the area which represents A union B, the area is this, right? This area represents A union B and if we can count the number of elements in this area, we can find the cardinal number for A union B. So how many elements are there? There are total four elements outside this overlapping area, four elements inside the overlapping area and four elements outside the overlapping area of set B. So there are total 12 elements. So the cardinal number for A union B in this case is 12. And what is the cardinal number of A intersection B? The cardinal number of A intersection B will be the cardinal number or the number of elements lying in this area because this area actually represents the A intersection B and here we have only four elements so the cardinal number of A intersection B will be 4 right this is how we represent the cardinal number n of A union B and n of A intersection B right and now if we try to find the relation between them from here we can see the cardinal number of A union B is actually equal to the cardinal number of A plus the cardinal number of B minus the cardinal number of A intersection B. How it works? The cardinal number of A will be the number of elements present in this area. Right? And the cardinal number of B will be the number of elements present in this area and if you have noticed we are actually counting the elements in this area two times and that is why we are subtracting the cardinal number of A intersection B once from the sum of cardinal number of A and cardinal number of B right because when we add the cardinal number of A and B we are actually counting the elements which appear in intersection area two times right so to avoid that one time we are removing the cardinal number of the intersection area right and that is why this is the relation between the cardinal numbers of two sets the cardinal number of a union b is equal to the cardinal number of a plus the cardinal number of b minus the cardinal number of a intersection b and it can also be remembered as the sum of cardinal number of A union B and the cardinal number of A intersection B is actually equal to the sum of the cardinal number of A and the cardinal number of B. So this is the relation between the cardinal numbers of two sets and their unions and their intersection. And after this we will be taking few more examples based on the set theory. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.